Hey guys, the One Piece Nation here today to bring you a quick One Piece video where I will be explaining why Robin's skin color was changed in the anime. The change in Robin's skin color was made because when she was introduced in Alabasta, Toei Animation screwed up and gave her the wrong color skin. That is right. This isn't anything to do with climate or anything along those lines. This is because Toei Animation screwed up. In the manga, it was always white. Or whatever color it is now. What you are looking at right now is the official color for Nico Robin when she was introduced. Now, the reason I was making this video is because there has been complaints. For a very long time from anime only viewers and some manga viewers who started with the anime, you know, watched and then start and then caught up to the manga. But you know, they start they started the anime and they watched until later on in the time given, then you have the manga. People don't nobody knows about this. Unless you were reading the manga before the time given the anime and you noticed this change, unless you were doing both. Pre time game, reading manga and all that, unless you notice it, you will you won't know about it. Because you're not unless you go back and make the comparison of what happened first, you wouldn't know. Some people get confused and think it would be because of the climate of Alabasta being really hot and really sunny, their skin got very tan, and then because you were in a very cold place during the time skip, you know. That, uh, it got, it got lighter, which isn't even plausible, because it doesn't make any sense, because she left the cold climate on the ship. We don't actually know where Robin was during her training. So that doesn't make sense. So as I had said prior to this video, I'm just going to make sure I am very clear. Robin King was always the color it is now. It had not changed at all. The anime saw the time skip and they were like, we fucked up on, we fucked up on Robin's skin. We made a mistake. Oda probably, Oda probably wasn't very happy with that. He was probably like, listen guys, she's the main, maybe he cared, maybe he didn't. But they were probably, she's the main character and we need to portray her correctly. They were like, listen, we made a mistake, we can use this time skip when they all get a redesign. And the fact that in a cold climate, we could use that. Maybe people won't notice. You know, they they were using the time gift as an excuse to change it. If they very well couldn't just randomly change Robin's skin out of absolutely nowhere, it would have been weird. Like, how would you have felt if during Skypea, one episode she had her original design from Alabasta, and the next minute she had the same skin color she has now, it would have been weird. It would not have made any sense. And people, people would have thought it would plot. People would not have realized. Nobody would know why they did it. So, guys, it was all Toei's fault. There had been no changes to Robin's skin color. Toei Animation was just this thing, their mistake. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.